you guys i'm currently talking on the phone with my husband and my brother but i am currently here at target this is where i'm gonna start this vlog voy a empezar el vlog aquí los niños están durmiendo they were fussy toda la pinche mañana pero it is my fault in a way porque i'm not gonna lie hoy ya son las 1.55 y no les he dado de comer a mi hijo so i'm really gonna have to go pick something up para darle de comer and I eat and then Adelie already eat. obviously she drank the bottle pero estoy esperando ahorita y a ver como nos va so let's hope babe did you know that you can add a Starbucks order now to your to your pickup order that like you go you pick it up and it says what do you want for drink y lo ya vienen y te lo dan yeah, yeah. now we have that which I'm kind of happy and I would have got a drink earlier but not right now pero pues you know now I'm gonna eat fattening and feel fat I hate my eyebrows I need to get them done because these are not giving they are ugh. they're not giving Okay, they're coming with my stuff, you guys. I'm gonna have to show the code in a bit right now. Excuse the dirty truck that we have. Yeah, so you Thank you so much. Are you still there? Me dieron bolsas for the milk, for the shaver, for my little bra, <laughs> for the pan. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're gonna have to go now. Let's see, you guys. I'm pretty sure the Target people, babe, are you still there? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm pretty sure the Target people are pissed because they added the drinks now to like the thing and people can literally just buy anything and then you can order your drink. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the camera because si no siento que se me va a caer and I'm scared que se me, se me rompa, honestly. I'm so scared of it. I'm going home, bitches. Hey guys, let me put you guys here farther so you guys can see me or a ver si me miran, pero, oh, there we go you guys. So, welcome back you guys, we went to McDonald's and we got some food because I went to Target to pick up the things that I needed, which I'll show you guys what we got, which wasn't really nothing like impressive, y aquí están the little, um, Happy Meals, they're giving them right now, I'm pretty sure for the month of October, because of Halloween, in a little basket. Y tienen con estos, and you can like, I guess it's a vampire. We personally do not celebrate Halloween, pero I'm not against anyone that celebrates it, you know? That's, kudos to you guys. I used to celebrate when I was little, actually, so yeah. Oh my goodness, look at you guys, some fries, puppy. You want some fries? Look at how cute the, I mean they're they're way smaller than when I was a little kid, but they look so cute. The little and I got in my six piece chicken nugget, so yeah. Um I'm gonna do a video. I got a Mac. Big Mac. Pero le quito el bun del medio. But I love Big Mac so let me tell my brother and my husband which are in the calm that i'm gonna do a video and i'll be right back okay guys i'm gonna try to make this video quick but um i got a coffee right here and then ab got chicken nuggets i got fries and i got chicken nuggets for aaron i don't think i'm gonna finish these fries you want some more coffee no don't don't do that Comételo. One more fries? Ten. 
but I wanted to make this video to give you guys an update on my life and oh my gosh it's dying let me get my phone okay guys so hopefully you guys can see me I know it's gonna be a little weird but um I wanted to make an update on this video I don't want to make it too long I feel like I do these every no sé cuánto let me take a bite mm. delicious but anyways um yes as you guys can tell me pinté el pelo I dyed my hair red slash kind of like black because I was already going black so let me tell you guys a little background story from that initially I was not gonna dye it have it black and red but because my hair wasn't lifting because I did do kind of like box dye black on my hair before I had the money pieces blonde it was not picking up it was not picking up and she was freaking out she was like it's not picking up but that was the end of the results like how i ended up looking and i really loved it like it actually looked better than i pictured it so now you guys know I wasn't really going for that look but I was looking for more like red but I ended up loving the results everybody I got compliments from everybody everybody so lo que les quería decir is that I feel like no estaba aquí I haven't really shown myself. I haven't really been myself. Let me put you guys closer. More? Mas? Mas? Te voy a dar una fry ahorita. Then. Oi. And, um, I'm gonna turn on the car porque si ese calor. Well, in realidad, I haven't really done a video. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I um, I kind of want to keep private right now. That I don't really feel like it's the time for me to talk about. For those that know, know. And for those that don't know, don't know. Pero, pues. Just a lot of things have changed in my life at this moment. And this time, y estoy en una nueva, I'm entering a new era. Estoy entrando en una nueva era donde I'm trying to change. Estoy tratando de cambiar. Estoy tratando de hacer cambios en mi vida personal, físicamente, espiritualmente y mentalmente. So, muchas cosas que están pasando alrededor mío. And I'm just trying to. Trying to reinvent myself. Trying to find myself. Entonces. What? Quiero cambiar. I want to change a lot of things that I'm not happy with. That didn't really make me happy. Entonces. With the help of my family, my husband, my kids. I am doing that. Y estoy tratando de approach things differently in my life now. If an issue comes up, if something that I don't like is happening in my life, I want to be able to not get mad and take it angrily. I'm trying to change. It is hard. No les estoy mintiendo. 
tratar de cambiar, trying to change is difícil. It's very hard, but it depends on us how hard you want to put in the work. It's like losing weight. How bad do you want to lose weight? How bad do you want to gain that body, that butt, those muscles, like those abs? Tienes que poner el trabajo para que puedas mira resultados and that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to take things differently approach them in a different way so I don't feel like I'm being bad and or I'm doing things I shouldn't I want to speak up quiero hablar cuando siento que certain things are not how I think they should or I'm not liking how I'm being treated so I'm gonna speak up I'm no longer gonna be quiet and expecting for people to guess how I feel and stuff and if they feel some type of way or si se enojan porque no les gustó how I told them or what I told them that's on them gotta let them go entonces pues son cosas que you know están, estoy tratando de cambiar how to be a better mom I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna sit here y decirles que soy una perfect mom because I'm not I'm trying to learn como no get frustrated con mis hijos like try to not get angry at them or maybe yell at them I have yelled at them and I think it was especially more in el principio cuando I had postpartum depression with my daughter for those that don't know more puppy um I had postpartum depression when I got right after I gave birth with Adeline. Y eso fue bien difícil para mí. I didn't talk about it. A lot. Because I didn't want to be judged. I didn't want to be judged. I didn't want to make myself look like the victim or for people to feel some type of sympathy for towards me. Um, but it was very hard. It hit me very hard with Adelie. I, I didn't get postpartum depression with Abraham, but with Adelie I did. Y a causa del postpartum depression, I don't se tuvo que quedar one month. Like, literally, you know how usually your husband or your partner se quedan two weeks the most? Or a week? That um, time, particular time, Aaron took off a whole month to be with me and the kids because I was scared. I'm not going to lie. Yo le decía, I'm scared. I'm scared to do something to the kids that I'm going to regret in the future and then you know I end up in jail and you guys know what I mean by that of oh, which I'm not gonna say it I out loud you know but I'm pretty sure you guys can se dan una idea so you give an idea entonces eso fue algo very hard for me very difficult to go through y only my parents not even my siblings actually and um my parents and my in-laws my suegros and Aaron's grandparents they were there for me in the times that I really needed them the most. They were trying to distract me. They will help me with my daughter. My daughter even spent some nights over, like over the night. Se quedó a dormir early there when she was kind of newborn because of the lack of sleep and the depression were hitting me. They were hitting me, guys. It was very, very hard. Um, I'm not trying to get emotional because I felt like I was going to get emotional already. Pero si fue difícil and only them were the ones that were there for me to distract me. And thank God que ya no lo tengo. Pero es difícil. If you have friends, families that had kids, check up on them. Be be around them. Um, support them. Ayúdenlos. Estén allí para ellos si los necesitan. No los dejen no las dejen más bien um, porque es difícil es muy difícil y, y duele it hurts it hurts um, a lot 
So, I went through that. Eso es lo que pasé por eso. Y le doy gracias a Dios. Le doy gracias a mi esposo porque he was there for me when I most needed him. It was a great support system. And he told me everything's going to be fine. Don't worry. Like... Nothing's gonna happen to your kids or you, so that was very hard. Um, I didn't really speak about it, como les dije, because I just didn't want to. But yeah, you guys, that that really did take a toll on me as a mom. E I felt like I was just scared because my mama le pegó postpartum depression cuando tuvo a mi little brother, y yo la miré. Um, very very stressed out y en ese tiempo my dad obviously he was working he was working construction so él trabajaba en Orange County in Santa Ana so from Riverside to Santa Ana from 5 in the morning being gone already to like being back at like at 10 11 era difícil porque no tenía ayuda mi mom éramos cuatro de nosotros entonces pues of course que se le iba a ser difícil y, y está duro pero pues que se le puede hacer, ¿verdad? You, you keep on going as a woman. You are strong. Pero sometimes I feel like we don't have to be so strong. We can rely on our husbands, rely on other people to help us be strong for us. So, don't ever, ever let anyone tell you. You expressing your feelings or talking about how you feel or talking about, about your me mental breakdown means that you're weak and that you are trying to be a victim or that you're trying to make other people feel sorry for you don't ever let that person or anyone any person tell you that that's weak and you shouldn't do that and if you do have people that tell you that then cut them off i'm sorry cut them off because you don't need people like that in your life whether they're family whether they're friends whether they're whatever no you don't need that now i'm learning that y pues that's something that I went through we also went through a pregnancy scare me and Aaron not that long ago twice actually I am not in birth, on birth control at all again still and let me tell you why a lot of people are telling me go on birth control I did my research Mm. Eat it, puppy. Pomatelo. And I feel like ninguno of the birth controls I did my research on are meant for me or are good for me. And I feel like maybe it's just not meant for me to have birth control. Porque since I had unexplainable bleeding before, it can cause cancer. Any type of birth control I put in my system. <laughs> So, I definitely do not... Well, what happened? I definitely do not want to put birth control. And I'm sorry, you guys. You're going to see me like that. I'm sorry. I'm definitely not going to want to risk my life for in the future me to get cancer or anything. Mm. We did other research where Aaron did call a doctor trying to see if he can get a vasectomy. And the doctor told him... Que no, he was too young, estaba muy joven, y que tal si se quería hijos más adelante, y bla, bla, y le dijo Aaron, no, ya no queremos, we have to, we have the boy and the girl, and we definitely do not want no more kids, but she said, people change, and what if you end up not being with your wife, and you know, you end up divorcing, and you get with someone else that does want kids, and bla, 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 so, which I kind of understand, but I said right now, me and Aaron are set, no queremos hijos, we want to be able to enjoy our kids, Thankfully, gracias a Dios, tenemos a la niña y tenemos al niño. Tengo a los dos. Y quiero, I want to be able to travel the world with them. Travel around and do things with them and not be able to, not stress out because I don't have enough time with them. You get what I'm trying to say? So, that's my thing, you know? So, that's where we're at right now con uh, kids. We don't want kids. But we're not taking care of ourselves but we are taking precautions we are in a way yes we're taking care of ourselves like we're not just you know oh we are taking care of ourselves sorry 
I probably didn't say it right. We're just not using protection. That's all. But I know we don't want to have kids right now. If in the future God allows us to have one more kid, then God allows us. And if he's not, and this is our final, then we will be announcing it. Lo vamos a decir y escribir y, you know, lo que queramos hacer. So, right now, that's how it goes. You guys, I've been having a lot of issues with our truck. Um, let me park in already. Okay, guys, sorry. Um, no más me parqué y terminé, pero lo más todavía seguí comiendo en McDonald's. Ya me acabé la, el Big Mac. ¿Guava? ¿Guava? Tengo lechita, papi. I can't give you coffee, papi. ¿Quieres lechita? Finish your food, papi. Finish your food. And I'll give you right now, okay? We're almost done, papi. Mm -hmm. Your food right there, papi, más. Chicken nugget, papi. I have the windows open, you guys. Pero, um, right now, puppy. I'll give you right now, okay? Um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna make this video short because I quiero tomar agua and I don't wanna not give them water. Pero, Adelie's behind me and she's drinking her bottle. But yeah, you guys, that's when where we at. I just don't understand yo yet on where we don't want more kids right now. We have plans we have things coming up that we're working on that hopefully primeramente dios he allows us to do it and right now puppy and we will be announcing what we're gonna what we're what we've been working on